what's happening fam and a happy new year to you guys welcome back to the channel i hope everybody's doing well so today as you saw from the intro i have a little unboxing and install for you guys hear a little bit of noise it's my boy max over there eating some food so i'm doing this intro inside because it's very 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 cold outside and as you guys guessed it yes it's a wing that i opted to buy it's from a company called battle arrow i'm pretty sure most of you guys know about them from instagram or facebook or what have you and i opted to get that wing because it is a, a very nice looking wing it's designed very well and the price is not insane so it's like almost like the best of both worlds you know what i'm saying so what i'm going to be doing i'm going to take it into the garage we're going to unbox it there so you guys are pretty much going to be hand in hand with me with this entire install so i will see you all soon guys this is this bad boy right here totally unboxed by the way battle arrow did a very very good job on packaging so what we have we have the actual wing we have the trunk plates we have the stands and we have the end plates that go on the wing the first of all the wing is made of frp for those who don't know what that is, it's a fiberglass reinforced plastic that's very, very strong. We have the trunk plates right here. These are steel powder coated. We have the stands. The stands come in two different lengths. These are the 12 inch. There's also a 15 inch stand. I opted for the 12 guys. This is my preference. I don't like the wing sitting up too high. For me, it just, I, don't, I just don't like the wing sitting up too high. That's just my preference. Then you have the, as I said, the stands and the end plates. Those are aluminum powder coated. And they give you your hardware, all the hardware that you need, washers and so forth. And they give you these awesome stickers. I really, I'm really digging these stickers. I'll tell you that much. I like the uh, chameleon type reflection that they have. I love it. I love that type of oil slick type of thing. So. The wing also, this is the Force One wing, guys. It actually comes, you know, the Force One, Force Two. They have different lengths for these things. I opted for the smallest length because my biggest issue would be fitting in the garage. So this wing slightly pokes the sides of the car from the back. So that's what I wanted. You know what I mean? It's gonna look really, really nice and it's not like the wing is overshadowing the car again guys this is my preference you guys can do whatever the hell ever you want you know what i'm saying so i opted for the 12 inch stand and the 62 inch wing that's what i wanted the end plates that they have with these this is the time attack and they also have a boomerang end plate as well which i actually think is pretty cool so i opted for the time attack so now we gotta take the wing off for the, the stock wing off the STI. And by the way, guys, just food for thought. These trunk plates, they do not use the OEM holes that you get from that's on the trunk already. So what a lot of guys do uh, that have an STI, the WRX guys don't have to worry about it, but the STI guys, sometimes they'll try to trunk swap. So they're, you know, they're drilling fresh holes um, into the trunk so they don't have to worry about like water leaking from any other hole but guys you know i mean i got 3m tape i got a, i got um uh waterproofing stuff that I, i'm gonna use so i'm not too worried about it so i'll see you guys soon all right guys we're about to head outside real quick i got the car island so once i pull it back into the garage i can get some heat more heat than here you know, underneath the trunk on the underside of the trunk there's eight pop clips that you gotta pop and take the backing off to expose where the screws are for the stock wing, all right? All 
All right, guys, we're inside the garage. As I said, it is freaking cold. So once you get the backing off, these are the eight pop clips right here. Once you take the backing off, you're gonna expose these two holes right here. But there is a third. You're gonna see these rubber plastic type plugs. It is covering this hole right here. So you have one, two, three. These are 10 millimeter nuts. You're gonna need a deep socket, guys. You're definitely gonna need a deep socket. And what you wanna do is, as you're taking the nuts out, you wanna move the trunk this way so the nut can fall into the trunk and not in the body where you're gonna be a pain in the ass. But, you know, knowing me, I got my magnet right here and I got my special grabber. So just to be prepared, you know what I'm saying? Now, once you take the wing off, or actually the nuts off, most likely they're gonna have clips. They're probably gonna have retaining clips holding the wing just in case if any of the nuts were to get loose. So we might have to pull this bad boy off. Also, I'm gonna have to take this off, and this I, I put this thing on really, really strong, these wing stabilizers, so yeah. So let me time lapse through this real quick. All right, guys, just a heads up. Once you unbolt the wing from the underside of the trunk, you're gonna have to use considerable force to pull it up from each end due to the retaining clip still holding it down. Do not pull the wing in the middle. All right, guys, so it's off. I actually put those damn wing stabilizers on better than I thought because that shit was holding this whole thing down. It was, it's crazy. So I just finished pulling off all the three M tape Guys, now you just gotta clean off the surface properly and then obviously line up your trunk plates. One thing, food for thought. Be very careful when you pop this trunk because the wing was actually acting as like a counterbalance for it. Watch this. Thing flies up hard. Like if you, like you could actually, you need some force to close it. So just be very, very careful of that, okay? All right, guys, once you finish, wow, this thing looks freaking weird. Oh my God, super weird. All right, once you finish cleaning on the wing best that you could, guys, time to start mounting up the wing. Reason is because once you put the plates and stuff like that, I'm gonna put some tape on the trunk so you could sit the wing down on top of it so you can actually see how your measurements and where you need to drill the holes. That's like probably the most important part right there so also on the end plates there's a curved surface like this there's a flat surface and then there's that curved surface that dips down this is the top that's the bottom okay and uh let's go Alright guys, so we got some progress going on. So obviously you saw me tape up the trunk, the whole nine. Now what I'm gonna be doing is these two holes right here, I'm gonna be using, they actually line up with the holes from the, uh, the stock wing. So now, once you line those up, what I did was I actually had this right here. See that? It's beautiful weather stripping right there. I'll put all this stuff in the link, guys, in, a in the description, so don't worry about it. So now, what's happening here is, you put the weather strip, run the uh, drill bit through it just to make a hole. Uh, probably a 3 16th drill bit, it'll be perfect. So you're gonna need a 3 16th and a quarter inch drill bit. The 3 16th is literally to get it through this hole to mark your spots where you need, and then the quarter inch is a lot bigger so once you mark and you move it, now see these little spots I have right here, one and two, the quarter inch bit is going to 
uh, be making the remainder of the hole. Now the good thing about the weather stripping is, look at this. Once you put the torque on those lock nuts and it presses, you could compress it and it forms like a nice tight seal. So everything is gonna be pretty much waterproof because that's what you want. You don't want it leaking. So that's a you know that's an idea for you guys. So that's what you're gonna see me doing now. I just gotta mark up the holes, put the weather stripping, and then we'll put the wing on and see what's up. <laughs> All right, guys, so what you see me doing right here is putting marks on the rest of the holes that I need to drill. And on the passenger side right here, the holes that are not being used, you'll see me cut small cubes of weather strip and lay it on top of those holes. So once I press the wing plate, it'll be perfect. All right, guys. So as usual, my OCD is spot on. The holes are perfect and I test fitted the wing already. I just want, you know, the big reveal for you guys to see at the end, but it fits, it fits nicely too. Fits perfectly. The only thing I'm gonna have to do is plug this hole here and that hole there. So it's all good with that. Oh, another thing, battle arrow. One thing I'll give you guys a freaking you can do better on is the fact that number one see these holes over here i tried doing taking a hole saw to this thing because look at the size of the washers they give you it's freaking gigantic you're telling me the the length of time that you guys have been in business i'm pretty sure you guys can have the same diameter hole but a smaller washer for instance when you gotta put this shit on the end over here you think you, you're putting this over here no it's gonna be protruding on the side come on guys so you can do better with that also i must say you know i mean for the amount of money that you're paying listen the wing is by no means cheap but the thing is this you guys could definitely make end plates that are compatible with the subaru holes seriously you know what i'm saying instead of you know macgyvering the shit out of this car so i'm, I'm just saying you and i'll tell you right now you'll definitely get a lot more sales too because it's user friendly you know what i'm saying so that you definitely could do better on I, I i must say but for the price you can't really go wrong and for what you're getting you know what i'm saying so so now all i gotta do is run the rest of the lock nuts and i'll show you guys what's going on at the end All right, guys, so what I was doing here is just double and triple checking the holes, test fitting the wing again. Right there, I actually have the wing backwards. I actually had to flop it around. You see those holes in the middle of the wing? There's one in the middle right here and one on the other side. That's a breather hole as per battle arrow. So don't worry about it from time to time. If you see water leaking out of it, just never mind that. Don't worry about it. All right, guys, this is it right here. It was a very, very successful install. As I said, I stated what my opinions were about the wing and the company as far as uh, the trunk plates and price and things like that. And uh, by the way, guys, when you put this sticker on, just leave it on for a while. Don't get it wet for like at least a day, just in case. But you know, you know how I am, man, OCD. So I love how it looks. It's not too high. It doesn't look like it's overpowering the car. And what I'm gonna do is tomorrow morning, it's freaking late now. I've been out here for like six hours and it's freezing. It's literally like 20 degrees. So um, I'll come out in the morning and we're gonna take some, we'll do a little walk around, take some pictures. And as I said, there's just one hole I got a plug right here. I'm probably gonna end up getting my trunk wrapped or something because it's just like the safest bet to um, to prevent any type of leaks. You know what I mean? I'm gonna get some, I already have plugs on the way. So I'll just plug that up. But that's really it, man. 
Guys, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you guys in a little bit. next day and the sun just went away out of the blue but you just saw me taking off the covering for the battle arrow decals look how beautiful that oil slick is I love it I love oil slick I went over this before in the middle on the side of the wing there's a hole that hole is a breather you have one on both sides so just in case on a rainy day if you see it leaking or something like that don't be scared also I just finished using my 3M scratch remover and polish. That's why the wing looks so gloss black. That is because the bubble wrap left imprints on the wing, so I just cleaned it up because obviously I'm OCD. Uh, Let me see. A couple things. As I told you guys before, this hole right here, these are the only ones that are exposed. I'm most likely going to have my trunk wrapped. Also, guys, when you do the wing, <coughs> make sure the part with the indentations, that is for the inside, and the curve, nice curved part, that goes on the back. That's on the outside. It's up to you guys how you want to set up your bolts for the wing to be tilted. So just make sure you set it up where you're not causing yourself too much drag. Also, very important guys, now the wing is obviously heavy, so when you pop your trunk, it's not gonna fly up. But what I did was, <coughs> I have this roof spoiler. Now, when I put it all the way back, the wing would touch the spoiler. If you don't have the spoiler there, the wing is gonna be, you know, millimeters away from your glass. But look what I did. I used bungee cord. So that bungee cord right there is gonna hold, you know, it's gonna prevent that stuff from, you know what I'm saying? I just hooked it on right here and I don't have to worry about the wing smacking back on my roof spoiler. Just, you know, little things, food for thought. Obviously guys, don't forget to put back your inside nice and neat. Don't forget, once you finish, make sure you tighten up all your bolts. And as I told you before, uh, I spoke with Battlero. Uh, for the most part, their customer service was pretty good. But as I told you, certain things in the video, I just, you know, disagreed with. I think that, you know I mean? They can make plates that coincide with, you know, the holes for the stock wing. Obviously, again, I'm telling you, I gotta plug this one and that one. Uh, but for the most part, it's a pretty damn dope wing. Let's take a look at it. Man, this sun just flew away. Yeah, it looks, it looks so nice. Like the angles from the side, man. Gives it such an aggressive look. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. I like it. I think it's a, it's a really solid, it's a tough wing, man. It's, it's a beautiful looking wing. And I said, guys, the wing is approximately, I think, uh, anywhere like around 800 bucks. So it's not a cheap wing and it's not the most expensive. Me personally, I just didn't want to pay $1,500 for an APR wing. You know what I mean? The thing about the APR wing though, obviously it's carbon fiber and all the holes match up. Uh, their, their trunk plate match up. So, you know, it's, it's all about the convenience that you want and how much you're willing to spend. But on the real, look at that rear shot. 
Man, that is beautiful. That is beautiful. Guys, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, comment. Damn. I'll talk to y'all soon.